and they made a lot of shots. And, and then I felt at halftime they were going to try to ride wise in the second half, and I really felt they did. They, they rode them, and we didn't really have a whole bunch of answers. I mean, when we did play great defense on them, he seemed to still find a way to knock the shot down. There's, there's nobody that we would rather have at the foul line than James Powell. I mean, that's been for four years. James Powell is, is very a freshman here. I was saying on the radio, I mean, my earliest recollection of this clutch free throw shooting is at Pepperdine, his freshman year. And I think he made six straight down the stretch of Pepperdine with a team charging at us. And just couldn't get over the hump because James kept knocking down free throws. And he's continued to do that for his four years. Real key for us, we, we expect to get nine, we expect to get Orlando and their points. And a real key for us is James Powell, 4-4 four, four from the foul line, 4-6 from three-point line, 16 points he chips in. And on a night when we defensively couldn't really get the clamps on him. I thought we were pretty good the first half. I thought they threw in a few and our turnovers gave him some easy ones. But I thought defensively our half-court set was actually pretty good the first half. Second half, we just couldn't kind of get a grip on him. It's like we guard him, we guard him, we guard him, we guard him. There'd be a little breakdown. Whap! They hit a three on us. They hit a shot on us. So I, I, I felt that you know it was very much needed for us to make free throws down the stretch and make some big plays. Orlando got a couple that rolled in. None made several free throws down the stretch of the game to keep, keep us in, in a more comfortable position. And then obviously Powell making his clutch too.